I just bought a new camera that I will be unboxing in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm gonna to share with you my entire YouTube setup. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video. It helps my channel and it helps other future YouTubers find this information as well. It really helps my channel just by clicking that little like button below the video. That's a small, great way you can show your support for my channel. So thank you so much for doing that. I've been doing YouTube for about four months now and I posted my first video on Leap Day, February 29th. It's been quite the journey so far and a slow learning process for me. So I'm gonna share with you a few things that I've learned over the past four months and some of the equipment that has made my life easier. My goal is to give myself a year of doing YouTube videos, publishing three a week or as many as I can in an effort to make a passive income stream out of it. So when I first started recording these videos, I was using my iPhone 10's rear facing camera. I didn't wanna use the front facing camera because the rear facing camera records with 12 megapixels as opposed to seven megapixels. It has image stabilization and autofocus and a wider ISO minimum maximum range which helps with lighting. So I started recording my videos on my iPhone's rear facing camera just setting it up on a tissue box or something in my kitchen. I realized I didn't want to carry around a tissue box so I bought a generic tripod with a phone holder that's about a foot tall with bendy legs that I can attach to just about anything. It's extremely useful. I got this for 15 bucks and the phone holder can be switched around to take portrait or landscape videos. It also has the screw on top to attach a digital camera. But I ran into a couple of problems. Okay, I ran into a lot of problems. Do you know what happens when someone calls you? and you're recording a video, it stops the video. So whenever I was recording using the rear facing camera, I can't see the screen of my iPhone. So sometimes I would sit in front of my phone for an hour, hour and 15, hour and a half, only to realize when I checked my phone at the end that somebody had called me two or three minutes into the video and I didn't record any of that hour I just spent just sitting in a chair looking at my camera that wasn't even recording. So I switched the phone around and started using my front facing camera so that I could see my phone screen. So whenever somebody would call, I could either answer it or decline and then hit the record button again. So in this video, I am using my front-facing iPhone camera, and hopefully this will be the last video that I use my phone for because I just bought a new camera that I will be unboxing in this video. So after I decided to switch my phone around, I still was running into a couple of problems. I realized I was pretty dark in my video, so I needed the light, and also the audio quality was not great. I bought this circular light on Amazon for $90 to use as my light for recording YouTube videos, but also to create training videos for my my balloon company. Finance YouTuber Graham Stefan also uses a circular light like this one, but I believe this one is a little cheaper than his because I'm definitely looking for a deal. And my YouTube channel is not monetized yet, so I'm just trying to get some cheap equipment to solve some problems that I've been having. This light is great for vlogging, recording tutorials, and can also be used by photographers to set up photo booths to make a little extra money at their events. So here's the difference in lighting without this circular light. I'm going to go ahead and turn this light down and eventually all the way off. Okay. So that's all the way off. As you can tell, it's a lot darker and there's a lot of different shadows across my face. I also like this light because of the reflection that it leaves in people's eyes. Look at that. I just think that's kind of cool. The tripod that came with the light can extend anywhere from like three feet to eight feet. It's definitely nice to be able to put a camera anywhere in the room or outside instead of searching around for a place to just set it. I also realized that my iPhone microphone picked up a lot of echo and during my adventure videos, it captures a lot of the wind and sometimes gets muffled by my hand if I'm pressing it up against the microphone. So I did some research and decided on the Zoom F1 field recorder with a lavalier mic. This mic has a super simple interface. It came with several different attachments and it's rated in the top of its category for vlogging mics. This mic was $170, which is a little expensive for me, but I decided I didn't want to skimp on audio quality, especially if I'm going to be doing this for a full year or even after. I've added a link in the video description to both this circular light and this mic. So I was stoked to start using this light and this lavalier mic along with my front facing iPhone camera. After recording my first video with my light, tripod, and lavalier mic, I realized that iPhones do not record video in real time. Oh. That means that my audio and video started off in sync in the beginning of the video, but like I said, after an hour, they were about a minute apart from each other. This was pretty discouraging because I was actually pretty excited to get some high quality audio with my new lavalier mic that I spent 170 bucks on. But not to fret, I had another idea. I'll just start using the camera that was gifted to me a few years ago, which was the Canon Rebel T3. And because this is a digital camera, I have high hopes that this will record in real time so that I can sync my audio and video. After the first recording with my lavalier mic and my Canon Rebel T3, I realized a few things. One, this camera was good for photography, but not videography. There's no real-time autofocus in video, so as I'm moving around in the video, I would just get blurry depending on how far away I was from the camera, and that was kind of annoying to me. And two, for whatever reason, this camera would just shut off as I was recording video. For whatever reason, I had the battery fully charged, I got new SD cards for it, I read online forums, but for whatever reason, 
I could not get this camera to work. And because it didn't have real-time autofocus, I wasn't going to invest a lot of time in figuring out what the problem was. I just needed to buy a new camera. Another technology problem that I ran into is getting the videos from my iPhone to my computer. I can't just airdrop an hour long video. It doesn't work. First, I needed to upload and convert into iCloud, which I can then log into on my computer and then spend 30 minutes downloading that so that I can start editing it on a video editing software. This has been four months of editing videos this way. Another problem I've been running to is my video editing software. I've been using iMovie, which is an outdated software. I don't really like it, but I'm frugal, so I'm waiting until my channel gets monetized to invest into a new computer and new video editing software. I've tried Adobe's Premiere Rush, which came with my Lightroom and Photoshop subscription that I use to make thumbnails. But for whatever reason, I could only export like three videos before paying a higher price, and that just wasn't worth it to me, especially because my channel's not monetized yet. So I already know iMovie relatively well, and I wasn't willing to spend my time learning a different video editing software, especially if I had to pay more for it. I'm trying to get my channel off the ground and running as soon as possible, and I don't have that time right now to learn new softwares. I also had some problems using Final Cut Pro. I'm not sure if something was actually wrong with the software, but it wouldn't let me export the videos that I had just edited, which was so frustrating because as I was using this software I would spend hours editing this video only to be told at the very end that I could not export this video. So frustrating. Also my computer's a little old it's a 2012 and the SD card only works intermittently. I've cleaned it out a few times and that seems to help but that's just another frustration on top of a growing list of frustrations that has been learning basic video and audio and what's gonna end up working. The pandemic hit about a month into my decision to record YouTube YouTube videos for a full year. I won't go into it very much in detail, but my business was shut down due to the pandemic. I was in the process of buying a house to stop wasting money on rent. And these things that were happening in life, along with my technology just seemingly working against me, was very stressful. But I decided to stick with it and here's why. One, once I knew how all of these things were going to work together, I knew it would be a much simpler and faster process for me in the future. Number two, I needed to figure out a different way of making money. My business shut down, which I operate over the internet but the products and services that I offer are offered in person. And because nobody is getting together, my business doesn't have any business. I made it my goal in January, 2020 to expand my business into 10 different cities. And by the end of February, when I decided to start doing YouTube videos, we were already in four cities. Then the pandemic hit and we were all quarantined at home. And so I needed to figure out a way to make money on the internet. So I knew that the social and economic shutdown was only gonna be temporary and that I could still be adding value to people's lives sitting in front of my computer at home. I spent a ton of time learning web development. I spent a ton of time learning how to do Facebook pixel and Facebook ads. And I spent a ton of time learning how e-commerce works. All of these things that I was learning were for my balloon business because I was hoping to just get it back up and running. But after two months of investing my heart and soul into trying to figure out how to make this business profitable online, I threw in the white flag and I decided I needed to focus my efforts elsewhere. After that two months, I realized I was not gonna get any immediate returns. And so I needed to invest into something more long-term like YouTube and blogging. Number three, I decided the niche for my channel was going to be finance because one, I like math and I think it's somewhat interesting. And I think that a lot of people do not know basic personal finance. And I want to make finance simpler to understand and more entertaining. Not many people like reading, but a lot of people like watching videos. A finance niche YouTube channel can actually be very profitable. And four, I like recording videos and editing them. Sure, it takes a lot of time, but I actually enjoy the time editing videos. So investing a year into this YouTube channel and into my personal growth as a video editor was worth it. Eventually, once my channel gets monetized, I'll probably hire video editors because it takes me a freaking ton of time to edit videos. Despite all my heartaches and breakdowns, I am slowly investing more into my YouTube channel. So I will continue to be investing into my YouTube setup and I'll keep you updated along the way. And finally, I present to you my most expensive YouTube setup purchase yet, my new camera. This is the Sony A6100. This is a camera that's been on the market for a while, so it's not a new camera, but it's new to me and I'm excited to have it. This camera along with the 16 to 55 millimeter lens cost me 700 bucks. Again, there's a link in the description to the cheapest place that I found this camera. I was able to offset some of the cost for this camera by selling my Canon Rebel T3, which helped me justify such an expensive purchase. So far, I've spent almost $1,000 in camera, lighting, and audio equipment for my YouTube setup. I'll also be using all of these things for my business, so it's a little bit more justifiable in my mind than if I were to just start investing into all of these things just for YouTube. My goal is to make $1,000 within this full year of YouTube because I believe that they will just compound on top of each other the more YouTube videos that I make. 
Again, I'll keep you updated with my YouTube monetization. The reason I chose the Sony a6100 was for a couple of reasons. One, it was mid-range in price for vlogging cameras and had a lot of good reviews. Two, real-time eye autofocus. That means I can go forward and backward and left and right and it will follow me the entire time keeping me in focus. Three, the flip screen that I can use as a monitor. Four, it has Bluetooth connectivity for wireless control. Five, it has 4K video resolution. And six, this is a mirrorless camera which makes it lighter, faster, and better for video recording. This is hopefully the last video that you guys will see recorded on the front face camera of my iPhone because I needed something to record this actual camera so you can see kind of what it looks like. It's got an old school kind of square body to it, but uh, whatever. So in my newer videos, you'll be able to see the difference in audio quality and video quality because I'll be using this camera with my Zoom F1 field recorder mic. So again, I tried to find the most affordable, highest quality items that I could get within my price range. And all of these can be found using the affiliate link in the video description. This is my personal setup for recording my YouTube videos. So again, my opinion is completely genuine because this is money that I've spent before YouTube has paid me anything just because I have a hope in the future that I'm gonna get my channel monetized. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps my channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more finance and Hawaii adventure videos. If you want some free stocks, feel free to check out Robinhood and Weeble investment apps. I've added the link to each of those in the video description. And for exclusive content like finance worksheets, stock spreadsheets, and up-to-date information on my personal finances, check out my Patreon. Thanks again for watching. I'm Joey. I'll talk to you soon.